HighSpots.com, the wrestling superstore. Get DVDs, books, masks, replica belts, action figures, video downloads, even wrestling rings and gear, and so much more. Check it all out at HighSpots.com, your one-stop shopping for all your wrestling needs. How many bottles of champagne did you buy? There's a little light in here. Huh? There's a little light. Yeah. Oh. So when are you I'm ready. I'm going to just do a quick change at the beach, Carney style. Oh, yeah. yeah, actually, I was actually just on the phone with Stacy too, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, just letting her know she can still get out of it if she wants to. She <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have to go through with it, I think. It's like the time to run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you know, she told me a bet is a bet, and she lost, so she's gonna pay for it. That's all I gotta say. My mom is like the full contact <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. She's like the, she's like the oh, nanny know it all. Like, uh, what's the, what's the broad with the, the yeah. flies around with the umbrella? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Mary, did you, see, did you get that? Did my mom say Mary freaking Poppins? No. Like my mom in charge of stuff. It was like. And Hell in a Cell with Mrs. Delphi. I'm not even done cringing yet. That's what it was like. Just... That's what it was like. <laughs> Nicholas, did you hear karate chop? She's a black belt. And I learned my manners from my mom because she's always wearing these Mr. T rings. Look at her hands. Look at this. She only has, well, she only has a big one. She's all, she's all stepped out like Mr. T. And she grabbed you by the skin. Nicholas, go to your room. Damn near beat me. Yeah. Put tattoos all over the scars that my my mom inflicted on me. She, I remember one time she had my brother in like a shoot arm bar because he was lipping off, showing off in front of his girlfriend or whatever. He's poking her. No, that was at the gym, and he wanted me to do. A, he said, "I'll show you how to do a clothesline." <laughs> and <laughs> so when he stepped into me, I clotheslined, but I knew how to do it for real. I, he didn't tell you me. You mean for real? He didn't tell me to pull it. That's an insulting thing, Mother. No, but he didn't tell me to pull it. So I. Oh, we don't pull it. Huh? We don't pull it. I'm gonna close line you in a second, woman. <laughs> you went down like that to the bridge. Remember? Didn't yeah. see what she did to that cat. Huh? Yeah, I saw her. I saw her give the cat the little. Sweet, was cute. She Simone right. spiked the cat. <laughs> but it's been very, very good ever since. <laughs> she did. The cat's biting on me and like a yeah. little mother protecting her yeah. little son. She like. <laughs> Someone spiked Actually, yeah, I feel like, like being protective. Peter's gonna be all over your ass, man. Protective and parental. You know, she got me kicked out of schools and stuff when I was younger because uh, she got in fights you with didn't the principal. Didn't deserve you that tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First night, my dad met Mr. Jason Bates here, aka the Belgian Brawler. He uh, he was crashing at my place in Toronto, and uh, <clears throat> my dad came to the door. My dad is, is I don't know, he's something like something between Chuck Norris and Jerry Stiller, and. Uh, he answered, he knocked on the door and I was in my room, Bates was in the guest room, Bates was close to the door, he answers the door and my dad just looks at him and goes, oh, who the fuck are you? And Bates being the, Bates, just goes, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and I was half asleep and I'm listening to this conversation and I was like, oh fuck, and I jumped up to try to make sure I got there before the uh, immovable object uh, tried to fight the unstoppable force. So that's how it was. So as soon as they came in today, that was the I deal. don't think I said that. That's, I think I said that. Uh, who are you, sir? No, <laughs> 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 like, fuck you, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could have been a Bible salesman for all I know. I didn't know you were. Wait till you ready to get your traveling shoes on. Yeah, we're ready. I'm here for you, man. Anything you need, flower girl, getaway car? I'm your man. Vito's got the flower girl in the getaway car. If I right. cover it off, I'll get you to be my. my uh, I'll block trap. There you go. There you go. I think you'd be in the gorilla position tonight for the wedding. Give, give uh, Jimmy and Stacy and Iggy to come down and get yeah. a little beach ramp. Three. I'm ready. I'll give you the little, I'll give you a subtle sign, something. Send them. You can whistle, I can. I can. When the preacher comes up, I want you to say, who the fuck are you? Oh, shit. My kid would love that. Really? It's like a squirt gun. Yeah. 
Hi, do you guys have um, that window chalk for cars and stuff? Yes. Hey, you want a hat? You want a hat? Yeah, for your wedding. <laughs> huh? Am I going to get here? You're going to do the ceremony as like some sort of like Buddhist or something? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Use on a clean, dry window surface only. Apply window marker evenly on glass to write words and create designs. Do not use on car body, paint, wood, clothing, or any other non-glass surface. Do not use on your anus or vagina or eyeballs or ears. You want this on the window? <laughs> we we'll we'll, we'll put a bouquet in front of that in front of that sickle. Yeah. Wait till right till he walks over. <gasps> Say something. Something. Jesus, sweaty. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat like that guy has full of Oreo stuff. So. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta get to know him before you rib him. <laughs> Tweedle, you have no, I have no heat if you decide to body slam him at any point. I was just joking. That was in love. That was out of love. That was out just, of love. Just because he's your brother, he's not getting funnel cake right now. <laughs> I'm stealing your shit. I got a pin right here. You gotta be real careful. <laughs> I think up. <laughs> Ask me something so I can tell you something. That way I don't have to think about stuff. <laughs> Ask me anything. Uh, uh, what do you think Mary Life's going to be like? <laughs> Why do you got to ask me something like that? <laughs> you said something. You said something. He's got to ask the hard question. Yeah, man. I got to hit hard. I think it will be absolutely beautiful. It will be completely uncharted territory because I'm used to just being a giant child so taking care of me on the best of days is, is enough so but I think instead of me taking care of two I think she's probably gonna be taking care of two because I am that perpetual infant child so uh, scarily enough is smart and beautiful and funny and stuff as she is she's on my wavelength which is scary maybe I should run yeah that's why I kind of thought there's got to be something wrong with her when I met her and I was wearing that clown paint and she was putting me over I'm thinking uh oh what's wrong with this girl uh, so you were Jack Sparrow. Maybe, maybe. We're halfway between Jack Sparrow and Dwight the Clown or something. Yeah. When I met her, it was like I was all in the clown stuff. Yeah. I was like, what the hell's wrong with this broad? It's like all the clown weirdness and whatever. For the first few days we met, I was in the clown gunk. So. The following DVD presentation was originally produced for High Spots TV, your online home for the best shoot interviews, matches, and original content. High Spots TV. The future is now.